Ben from The Rent Roll Broker and this particular month we're going to be talking a little bit more about having family involved in the business. We've been looking at succession planning and for a lot of people bringing their family, their, their younger ones, into the business is a very key part of their succession planning. So we feel this is where this subject would fit. You've probably all heard the phrase, it's not personal, it's business. Well, that's all right if it's not dealing with family, but it takes on a whole new uh, line of thought when you are dealing with family members because no matter how well you try and put it and no matter how businesslike you are, regardless, it will be personal. Family owned businesses are, theor are, are theoretically ideal because family members form a grounded and a loyal foundation for the business. They have uh, dedication to their work because it's not just about the money it's about what the family is creating between them together. Having a certain level of intimacy among the owners of the business can help bring a familiarity with it so that um, the system should ensure that there is teamwork not just with the family members but teamwork also with the other members of staff as well otherwise you can have some very specific divisions within the organisation. We need to agree on guidelines and be very specific with every aspect of employment for a family member. As you would deal with any other staff member, make sure that you treat them exactly the same. That means they need to have their job description set up properly. They need to be able to follow the procedures manuals for the work that they're doing. They need to be paid the same level of pay as what other staff on similar jobs are being paid. They take their holidays and everything else that they do is done exactly and they're treated exactly the same way as you would with anyone else within the organisation. One of the big issues that you can face is the emotional side of things. Letting emotions interfere with business can make you appear weak to your empl other employees and even your uh, yeah, customers. If you are leaning towards uh, favouring one of your siblings who are working within the business. If you're insensitive on the other side um, and you try and be hard and firm with your family members, then that too can also create a problem for you because it shows that you're being insensitive. Therefore, letting emotions work within the business have to be very guarded and you need to work very, very hard at making sure you get the correct balance between, uh, between the give and the take uh, with your family members and comparing them to the other staff members within the organisation. There are two main reasons non-family employees can leave. Limited growth opportunities and family conflicts. Most employees want advancement within a company. They want a career path. Unfortunately, in a lot of family businesses, there are often limited opportunities because the family members get in the way of employees' advancement. And this can lead to people, really good people, leaving and going to other organisations because they do not perceive that there is an opportunity for them there in the future. Without opportunity to advance or take on a leadership role, many talented and ambitious young, young employees will move on. Another problem is that non-family employees will leave because they feel they're always in the middle of the fight when there's a family feud going on. As a business owner, we need to realise that every business needs a good mix of people, both family and non-family. Non-family employees will add balance to your organisation because they have an ability to view and understand the business without the emotional aspects that are there when the family is involved. If given the opportunity, they can provide valuable um, and very decisive input into, into your organisation to make it a better company for everybody concerned. Fail, so failing to recognise the positive impact on non-family employees have on a family business can be a really big mistake. So take time to think these things through 
see if there's some key points that we've covered today that you can put into your business to make it better for everybody. And as you plan for the future and perhaps get family involved, we wish you all a success. Thank you for listening. It's been Chris Goodway from Renfro Broken. Look forward to seeing you again next time. Thank you.